people say that American pool is better than British snooker. What a load of balls! This video has been suggested by one of our brilliant British viewers, Philip. He says, and I quote, Americans are obsessed with size and will be impressed at how large a snooker table is compared to a pool table. He is also keen on us explaining the rules of snooker to those of you who are not au fait with them. Including you, Lucy. So firstly, size matters. A European snooker table is 12 feet by 6 feet. That is colossal. Let's demonstrate this by comparing the size of the table with the size of the brick girls. Lucy is almost 5 feet 10 inches and I'm 5 foot 8 inches. I could stand on Lucy's head and we would still fit comfortably on the table. We could also easily lie across the table. However, this would be frowned upon in most snooker clubs. The dimensions of an American pool table can either be 7 foot by 3 and a half, 8 foot by 4, or 9 foot by 4 and a half, the latter being a pro or tournament pool table. As you can see, Mum and I can comfortably lie vertically on the largest pool table, but would stick over the edge when we lie across it. The tables side by side demonstrate the difference in size between them. So, on the size matters scale, one up to good old snooker. Let's talk balls. No change there. Let's begin with pool this time. Eight ball is the standard game. Balls one through seven are often referred to as solids and nine through 15 as stripes. Though it looks similar to the solids, the eight ball is not considered a solid because it is the only ball that is black. A total of 16 balls. A snooker ball set consists of 22 unmarked balls. 15 reds, 6 colour balls and 1 white cue ball, which is shared between the players. That's a load of balls. Let's talk about the size of balls. A snooker ball has a diameter of 2.0625 inches, 52.5 millimetres. A pool ball ranges from 2.25 inches 57.15 millimetres in diameter to an almighty 2.375 inches 60.33 millimetres in diameter. So this is something we've known all along. America has the biggest balls. Let's talk cues. Not the British standing in line type, but the stick that you hit your balls with. Pool and snooker cues average around 57 to 59 inches, 140 to 150 centimetres in length. A cue designed for snooker is usually shorter than the typical 59 inch pool cue and has detachable butt extensions for making the cue 6 inches, 15 centimetres, longer or more. In snooker, a rest is chiefly a British term for a set of mechanical bridges used to support your cue when making a shot. This shows three types of rest, swan, spider and cross rake. Shall we talk more about the shaft? No, let's not. Let's talk about pockets. Both snooker tables and pool tables have six pockets. Pool tables have bigger pockets than snooker tables. Let's talk chalk. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure they have more control over their shots, each player tends to chalk the end of their cue to ensure there is good contact between the cue and the ball. You will also see in this photo a sliding scoreboard. A sliding scoreboard is used in snooker to keep tally of the points scored by both players during the game. Let's talk winning! The object of pool is to pot all of your designated balls, either stripes or solid, and then pot the eight ball and thus win the game. As pool matches often consist of best out of formats, players will often try and win as many games as they need to in order to win the tournament. The object of snooker is to score the most points at the end of each game 
called a frame. Players earn points by pocketing balls of different values. There are 15 red balls, each of which worth a single point. The yellow ball is worth two points, the green ball is worth three points, the brown is four, five points for the blue one, six for the pink, and sinking the black ball gives the player seven points. The total number of consecutive points excluding fouls that a player amasses on one visit to the snooker table is known as a break. Penalty points are awarded to a player when their opponent commits a foul. At the start of a frame, the balls are positioned on the table as shown in the illustration. The first player completes a break-off, requiring them to hit any red ball at the triangular pack by striking the cue ball with the tip of their cue. The player then takes alternating turns at playing shots, with the aim of putting one of the red balls into a pocket and thereby scoring a point. When a red ball enters a pocket, the striker must then pot a colour of their choice. If successful, the value of the potted colour ball is added to the player's score and the ball is returned to its designated spot on the table. The player must then pot another red ball followed by another colour. The process of potting reds and colours alternately continues until the striker fails to pot the desired object ball, at which point the opponent comes to the table to start the next turn. The game continues until all the red balls have been potted and only the six coloured balls are left on the table. The colours must next be potted in the ascending order of their value, from the least valuable to the most. Fun fact! Snooker is now played by over 50 million Chinese people. There are now over 300 snooker clubs in Beijing alone. China hosts several professional snooker tournaments. The oldest current professional snooker tournament is the World Snooker Championship, which started in 1927. There is a type of snooker called American snooker. This is almost exclusively played in the United States. American snooker has a simplified rule set compared to the international game. It is also usually played on smaller tables. Which game do you prefer? American pool or British snooker? Let us know in the comment sections below. Comment sections? Yes, there's all those comment sections. Let us know in the comment section below. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of American pool and British snooker. If you have, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't yet already done so. See you next time! Bye! Bye.